Hello, this is a follow-up video to the planters that I made back in May 2020, nearly three years ago. Um, I've had a few comments on the video, um, some positive, some negative, um, basically asking, um, can we have an updated video on the planters because I don't think the plywood will last, I think they will rot, they will fall to bits and they're just not going to be stable and long-lasting. Um, I kind of agreed with people, and this is the first time I've ever made planters out of plywood. Um, I thought I'd give it a go because I had the plywood off my shed roof out in the garden, and I thought, this is free, I want to recycle it, let's make some massive planters. Now, this video will show the planters nearly three years on. I was skeptical. I didn't think these were going to last. I didn't think these were going to do as well as they have done. So you'll see in the video that's coming up how kind of immaculate they are. They've surprised me. They've really surprised me. I've packed them full of big tropical plants. The roots, have, they, they have strong roots, powerful plants. And they, the, the planters have not bowed one little bit. They are as straight as they were when I first made them all them years ago. Um, so for all the haters, not haters, but all the people that had negative thoughts about these planters, this will change your mind. If they can last three years, will they last another three years? These have had zero maintenance apart from a lick of paint here and there. So I have topped up the paint levels. After the winter, you know, the rain gets it, you get some mold down the sides, a bit of green here and there. Uh, they have just had a freshen up of paint. They've not had any screws added, any timber added, any structural work at all. They are exactly the same as the day I made them. So have a look at this video that's coming up and see for yourself. And I'm going to talk you through my tropical garden at the same time. So you'll be able to see what plants are in there and what's going on around the garden, which you might be interested in. If you've, if you've watched this video, I'm guessing you're interested in gardening, gardening like me. So yeah, enjoy. Right, let's have a look at these planters. Three years old nearly. You can see the plants have grown a lot in three years. I'll go through them later. But they're the planters, look. I've done a nice tidy border of uh, pea gravel around the edge to prevent damp from getting to the bottom. Um, so you can see the condition. No bowing, perfectly straight. I mean, you can see the age of the plants from the, the plants that are in there were all babies. Uh, they have grown. There's the big one clean cut edges, you know, it's had a lick of paint, but they're not in bad condition. I'm sure you'll agree. So this is the update, guys. Um, you're probably watching this after watching the planter video. So, I mean, I'm going to do an update every year, or at least, at least every year. But I'm hoping 10 years will come and the planters still look the same. Will it be a miracle? I don't know. It's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I mean, don't hesitate. If you're thinking of making some giant planters like mine out of the 15 mil thick plywood, I don't know, I'd do it. I'd do it. Um, because... Because they're lasting. And that's all I've got to say, really. Uh, what, what I'll do now, I'm going to go through my tropical plants that are planted in there, because you might be interested. Um, so just bear with me, I'm going to repeat the video and then go through my plants so that you know what's what. Just in case you want to plant the same plants. Right, here we go, here we go. This is a plant test now. I've had to slow this down so I can keep up with it. So this is a Musa Bashju banana plant. If I can remember all these plants, I'm a genius. And then we've got a pink china a colocasia down at the bottom there, up to the right. And then next is a crooked stem bamboo. Um, and now this is an Enseti Morelli type of banana plant found in Africa, Ethiopia. They do not last the winter, but they're beautiful in the garden. We've got a fountain bamboo in the next planter. It kind of bends over and looks like a fountain. Some uh, dinner plate dahlias, which haven't emerged yet. We've then got a lily, a canary palm, and more mas musa bashju. They send babies out the bottom, which fill your planters nicely. Camelops humilis, palm to the right. Sorry if I've got any of these names wrong. I'm trying my best. 
rice paper plant in this big plant at the top, they get huge. It's a T-Rex. Um, they're called a T-Rex. Um, oh, rice paper plant. A big cord line in the grass. That was there before. Uh, pink china again. They're really nice at filling the borders there. You can see they look like elephant ears. New Zealand um, tree fern. Dickinsonia antarctica, I think. Fountain bamboo again in that planter. And some canna lilies down at the bottom. We've got in near the pond at the top... Um, it's a Jap uh I've forgotten that one. What is that? That's a skunk cabbage in the center. That'll get big in the next few years. We've got some um, carnivorous plants in the black border there. Venus fly traps and some pitcher plants. And then this is my indoor summer house. There's a cheese plant there to the left. This is hard work. Trachycarpus fortuni straight in front of us with some hostas at the bottom. Parrot beak plant at the bottom of the uh, Trachycarpus. This is like some sort of challenge. Um, here is a uh, Borneo giant. These do not last the winter, but they get huge. And it's one of my favorite plants. I bought this from a supermarket for 12 pounds and it grew massive. Can't wait to get that back out in the garden this summer. Uh, should spin around and go back inside the summer house now. Sorry if I've missed any and sorry if I've got any of the names mixed up. Um, I do my best with these gardens. There's another Trachycarpus right down here to the right, and then there's just some berg, um, begonias, some red Japanese red blood, blood grass uh, there in, to the right as well, down in that border. This is a lime tree that's grown quite big this year. I'm hoping to get some fruit off it next year. They're very thorny though, so that's in a big planter. That goes indoors through the winter. Here is a... What is that? Arum lily. Arum lily, big arum lily, has big white flowers. There's none at the minute, but it has been. And then to the right as well, the red leaves, Canna tropicana. Um, and then some more pink china. You see there, Colocasia. Cavendish banana here straight in front of us. You can get fruit off these if you keep them in a greenhouse. Um, can't remember the name of that palm. This is a creeping Virginia on the wall around the DIY waterfall that I created. The Creeping Virginia turns red in the autumn. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and then there's some cactus down there. I don't think you can see a cactus at the back. And some lemon trees growing. Um, more pink china. I love this stuff. Right down there in the border. And here is Sago Palm with passion fruit growing on that wall. And the passion fruit flower plant goes all the way over the rafters in this but they're not on the video. So that's a sago palm. They don't really like it outside in the winter. They get a bit scorched by frost. So that's why this is in, in, in this summer house all year round. There's a bird of paradise plant there that's only a baby. That should grow up some uh, flowers one year, but they take three, year, three years to flower. Well, this is hard work. Uh, some bongos uh, on there and um, a fire pit. That's nice, have that crackling away while you're sat in your tropical garden on a warm summer's night. So yeah, you can see there my bridge, and there goes the pigeon. Bye pigeon. Um, here we are again. Looks like we're going back around. But uh, don't worry, I'll, I, I think we're just gonna go over the bridge now, aren't we? Here we go. So this bridge is made out of scaffolding boards, and I'm gonna do a video on how to make this because it was super easy, and Super strong scaffolding boards last forever if you keep it treated. And there we go. We have done a tour of my tropical garden. I've tried tried to cover most plants. I've probably missed a few, as always. There's also the dry stream there, look. You see the rocks? So that was a dry stream, and that fills with water when it rains. I'm going to do a video on this, okay? So the dry stream and the bridge will be a video coming up. I'll leave you with this picture of me. I haven't got long hair now, but I grew it through lockdown. There it is. Uh, with my pride possession, my big plant. Thanks for your support. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll try and get as many videos on as I can. Thank you. Bye-bye.